Off to that shocking bust on Long Island. A man accused of running a prostitution ring out of his parents' basement. 47-year-old Raymond Rodeo the third was taken into custody. And new at 5, we're getting a first look inside his parents' home. Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne live in Sound Beach in Suffolk County with more for us. Kristen? Diana and Sade, neighbors say they would often see women park their cars up the street here and then walk down and go into the house. Prosecutors say some of this prostitution activity happened inside the basement and some at local motels. 47-year-old Raymond Rodeo III pled not guilty this morning to charges of human trafficking. Prosecutors say he had as many as 22 women in a prostitution ring since 2014, which he operated out of his parents' basement in Sound Beach. Some of the victims were forced to stay in the basement for long periods of time where there's no shower, there's no bathrooms. They were forced to use a, a bucket as a toilet. Prosecutors say he would recruit women on social media. He would often provide them drugs. If the victims refused a prostitution date, Rodeo would intimidate them and threaten them, either with physical violence or by threatening to withhold drugs from them. Investigators say women and men would enter the house on Lower Rocky Point Road through the garage door leading directly into the basement, and that Rodeo III's parents seemed completely unaware of what was going on. His father, Raymond Rodeo Jr., gave us a tour of the basement today to point out the clean and sanitary conditions. He says he had no idea about the alleged prostitution activity, but knew his son was in trouble. I knew something was going on. Okay, drugs, that I know. I've tried to get him into so many drug programs. Neighbors say they had their suspicions. We spoke with one woman who didn't want to appear on camera. Cars parked on this street as well as that one off and on, and a girl would get out and walk down the block rather than parking at the house, which I thought was kind of strange. Prosecutors say they first became aware of this alleged prostitution ring when an officer pulled over Rodeo III during a traffic stop back in August. That officer, prosecutors say, noted a female passenger who appeared to be a victim of human trafficking. So that's when police launched their investigation.